Hello everyone. Today we will decode this uh, radio. It's a uh, it's an Audi concert. It's locked. This is the model. It's made by Blogpunt, and this is the part number. We will decode it. Okay, let's begin the process. I will turn off the power supply. Remove the back cover. Inside we should uh, find a, an EEPROM. It's a 95128. But let's see how hard it's to get. After that, uh, I will use the TL8663G programmer and uh, the software called uh, CalcGen in order to decode this type of unit. Okay, we will need a magnet to be more easy. To not lose the screw inside another one so basically i remove the top cover i will remove the the unit the cd reader Let's have a connector it's unplugged and Let's look for the EEPROM inside. I don't have a clue yet where it is, but I hope I will find it soon. I found it. Uh, the the EEPROM is here. It's near this connector in order to have quick access to it it's more easy to remove the front uh, cover which is four screws normally I see one it's missing so someone before me was a working guy he removed it but he forgot to put it back less work for me one screw let's see here okay here we have both if I remember correct I still have on the bottom screws under this cover. I worked also in the past on this type of units. So since I will need to remove also the back. Let's remove it. Should not. I, uh, but for this one, I need the back. Oh, crap. I need these two to be removed. I hope it will do the job. One from here. One from here. No, it doesn't want to come up. I need to glide it. Okay. 
How should I glide it? Ah. Here is the EEPROM. I wanted to remove this front metal in order to have a quick solder access. It's getting annoying for me. But I figure out how I will remove it right now. I hope it will work. And I don't damage something. So on this side it's loose. I will try to loose also on this side. Okay, loose from here. Let's loose more from this side. And where it's holding it. Soldered? Yes. Or bend here. One, two. Let's unbend without damaging the PCB. Okay. And it's out. So here we have nine five one two eight VP. What I will do, I will make a mark for the pin number one. It's inside. I'm using a paint marker. And I will use uh, some captain tape. If I blow with hot air. To not uh, damage the connector. But what I can do also, let's do it. I think I will use a low temperature solder wire. Have some resistors close to it. I don't want to blow them off but let's see how it will go with this low temperature solder so i put on all the pads I put on both sides and now i will try to easily remove if it's possible yeah All the small components are still there. Let's wick it. Clean the trace. It's very important to not leave the low temperature solder on the circuit because it will fail very fast due to the heating. Okay, let's clean the pads also. I forgot my magic napkin. The lights are sucks. I put them very wrong. I change the light. Okay. 
the apron pads are clean. I will put in into the programmer and also in my EEPROM adapter and we will switch to to PC for the next uh, operation Let's connect the programmer so we have connected the TL8663G we know it's a 95128 from ST it's a suck 8 we hit read. Of course, I didn't put very well into into adapter. Okay, so we have the content read. Not from the first try. We will save it. I will go in my different area so you can see we have the concert we have the part number and we will open the calc gen so we know it's a blog print or Bosch I will open load so we have a code here one one three five three Okay, here we have the wrong EEPROM detected, but I will test with uh, this one. Anyway, I have the dump saved. Okay, so we read it with the programmer. What we want to do, let's zoom a little bit in and uh, solder back the, the EEPROM. So this captain tape was useless. I did not go with hot air. I will clean. I will try to get a good position also to cam record the uh, solder and not see my head I will go first without flux just a little bit to secure it now I will add the flux and solder properly the EEPROM in place a little like this one two three and four one two three and four. If you work on these units, you really need to be careful. There are very small resistors near the EEPROM. Of course, it's not a straight solder, the EEPROM. I don't care if it's soldered good the pads and if it's working then I will not care yeah. so the pads are very well soldered Let's install back this front cover.
Okay, power up the unit. Let's see. The code was one three. Okay, one three five three. I think. Let's hit enter. And the radio, it's it's working. Let's write the code. One three five three. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.